The Board of Water Supply is checking for contaminants in or near our groundwater because of the Red Hill fuel spill. So drilling started this week on a second monitor well to monitor our drinking water. Diana Ko has more on that. Plus, who's paying for it? Board of Water Supply crews expect it'll take three to six months to drill 320 feet into the earth. They're testing soil and water samples along the way. What they're planning to do with it is monitor the aquifer to see if any of the contamination of the PFAS from the Red Hill fuel spill has migrated out this far. This is going to be one of about a half dozen monitoring wells that the Board of Water Supply will be drilling. Have not seen any signs of contamination from field screening, but we have not submitted any lab samples yet. We are planning more wells um, uh, to be drilled uh, in Halava Valley, across the uh, Monolark Freeway, at, at the city park, at Alampu'upu'umalu Park, Halava District Park. BWS is paying for this $813,000 well, but funding for the other wells will come from a $10 million legislative allocation. Ultimately, though, Lau wants the Navy to reimburse all of it. A $1.21 billion uh, FTCA, or Federal Tort Claims Act claim, including, included replacing uh, Halava Shaft, Halava Wells, and IA Wells, and also uh, some costs that we'd incurred to date uh, at, the, at the time we filed, about $25 million or so. Meantime, the Halava Shaft remains closed until BWS is confident it's not contaminated. An estimate Lau couldn't pin down today except to say it'll be years. In Halava, Diana Co. Highland News.